I admire their, their courage. I know good and goddamn well Jimmy will kill them. Go do smash it up next. <laughs> smash it up, and then we'll do the collector. Hey, what you looking at? Hey, Zoe. You want to have some fun, tough guy? What kind of fun? It's not that kind. I only date older men or junkies. They're so romantic. Come on, what's wrong with me? <laughs> well, everybody hates you. You're a little twerp. You dress terribly. But apart from that, nothing. Oh, okay. Well, I dress just Good. fine. Why don't we play a little game? Come on. By older men, I hope you don't mean Mr. Burton. <laughs> hey. Wasn't I just there? Yep. All right, Jimmy. Here we are. A warehouse full of expensive looking junk. It makes it much more satisfying that all this is Spencer shipping. Wait, isn't Tad's last name Spencer? Yep. And now we're going to play a little game. Whoever smashes up the most stuff wins. Why would she know who Tad is? of our many tools. <laughs> I mean, we have a pretty healthy lead right now, but... A lot more around here. Yeah, what is she even doing right now? Is she even trying anymore? Trust me, game, I'm well aware of this. <laughs> I'm not quite sure she is, though.
I got this in the bag. Guys, what were you doing for like half of this competition? There's a point in time where like you, your your shit did not move for like ever. Okay, enough. You win by a wide margin. You sure know how to have a good time, Zoe. Jimmy Hopkins delivers. I have a spot around here, don't I? Yeah. Spend the night here, why not? No harm in doing that. Personally, I will turn the music off, but whatever. Each, each their own, Jimmy. the bus over here. Nothing good ever happen when we go to see when we go to see Crabble Snitch though. Oh boy, let's see what happens. Ah, Hopkins. Now, I'm not one to give in to popular sentiment. You can tell that by your clothes. What? I'm saying you dress great. Irrelevant. As I said, I am not a people pleaser, but in your case, I'm going to make an exception. An exception? Cool. Yes, you are without a doubt the least popular boy in the school right now. Even that fat child who wets himself is more popular than you. Coincidentally, it has also come to my attention that you are a filthy, dirty, foul-mouthed, awful little vandal. Yeah, well, we already knew that. Very droll. A comedian till the end. Well, you'll have to pursue your comedic talents elsewhere, boy. Bullworth is not for you. I'm not the one who's funny. You know what's funny? You. You're a joke, you old creep. You and your stuck-up, lame-ass school with its bullies and sex pest teachers. This place is a dump, and you're a big-nosed freak. This school rewards losers and bullies. I just stand up to them. You painted obscene graffiti on the town hall, boy. Yeah, I did do that. I we'll deny it. it was you. Oh, yeah? Then who squealed? Tell me that. A commendable pupil did feel the need to tell me you were responsible for this outrage. Gary Smith. Look, I may have painted a few jokes on the town hall, 
but that kid likes to torture people. Gary Smith is the next head of this school. He's responsible, courteous, and not afraid of being an unpopular leader. You are blind, old man, blind! And you are leaving! I tried to contact your mother, but she's still off on a cruise. Until I hear from her, I will have to let you stay here in your room. But you may not wear the school uniform or oh, attend classes. Gotta be kidding you are leaving are you gonna stop the me from wearing the school uniform? Education elsewhere. Now get out. Whatever, man. Jimmy, I told you doing that shit in the town hall building was fucking stupid. That was your dumbest idea. Fuck this mission. Hang on a minute. I don't remember this one. Hey, Jimmy. How you doing? Terrible. Everybody hates me. Everybody might hate you, but everybody laughs at me. Yeah, that's true. Those kids are jerks anyway, but I tried. I know. I mean, I tried to do the right thing, make people happy, stop all the fighting, make everyone calm down. Now everyone laughs at me. People used to be scared of me, and now I'm a joke. It was Gary. It must have been. I know. I can't deal with the fact that that kid beat me. Well, it ain't over yet. God, one minor setback and you're acting like a baby. You're pathetic. I've been expelled. They're just waiting for my mother to come back from her 58th honeymoon, then I'm out of here. How is that a minor setback? Losers! Oh, shut up, you fat dork. Whatever. You and your has-been friend don't scare me. See? Even a dork like that laughs at me. We gotta prove Gary was behind everything. We don't even know if it was Gary. All we know is townie kids beat up a bunch of Bullworth kids. I mean, I don't even care anymore. Well, we've gotta find out what's going on. Come on! Okay, but if we're gonna take on those townies, we're gonna need a bunch of backup. Someone big who doesn't hate me yet. Russell. Russell. He'll be at his house at Old Bullworth Vale. This is how they educate people. It's no wonder this country is such a dumb place. Russell has a house in Bo Old Bullworth Vale? She's got the Does Russell come from money? So, why are you all the way at home and at school? We all know that school's not going to be doing you many favors, but you should at least try. Russell was fucking ready, wasn't he? Oh, I got a moped, cool. Going the long way, buddy. Hey, by the way, Russell, where'd you get the bike from, huh?
you know, at this rate, I think we might, we might actually beat the game tonight. Making some pretty good progress. Hey, Zoe. If I can't get in, that means they can't get out. How does that work for them? contribute like at all or are you just here to watch? <laughs> Done now. All right, let me turn the power on. We got to go through the Red Star building. This gate is controlled by an electronic security switch. Who the fuck is Omar? 